after studying this module, you shall be able to know about the significance of cyber forensic workstation, the necessity of cyber forensic workstation and the schematic development of cyber forensic workstation. The introduction of computer technology has prefigured the line of attack of a new trend of illegal activities and increased the opportunities of criminal procurement. The exploitation of technology has also transformed the investigative playing field and demanded the development of contemporary forensic techniques. More concisely, the digitalization of information and the increasing interconnectivity of the world require a confirming aptitude to retrieve data which is lost along with that which has been purposefully misplaced. While such facilities obviously serve the law enforcement mission, they may also be employed by corporate bodies and individual citizens to make sure the endurance of infrastructure, private welfares and government stability. Private awareness aside, computer forensic is crucial for the effective disposition of computer related cases. Pragmatic approaches serve a range of law enforcement functions and arrange for a responsibility essential in the democratic culture. In the most wide ranging sense, computer forensics provides a mechanism for the investigation of computer related criminal activity consistent with constitutional directives and laws of criminal procedure. The privileged information is protected and the integrity of potential evidence is generally maintained by maintaining the chain of custody, confirming that viruses are not introduced to the suspect machine due to analysis, ensuring that potential evidence remains in the unaltered state that is not destroyed, damaged or otherwise manipulated during the investigative process. In addition, it enhances the probability of judicious processing and reduces the vulnerability to litigation that may result from claims of unreasonable interruption of business operations. More specifically, it establishes procedures for the recovery, preservation and analysis of digital evidences. Computer forensic science protects digital evidence from possible alteration, damage, data corruption or infection by design or carelessness. By providing mechanism of evidence duplication, it enables the creation of forensically sound images useful for data analysis. As such, it prevents allegation of corruption or misconduct on the part of investigators, all but guaranteeing evidentiary introduction in court. It also uncovers all relevant files on suspect system including overt, hidden, password protected, slack, swap, encrypted and some deleted files. In addition, computer forensic assist in information dissemination as printouts may illustrate in overall analysis of the subject. Computer as a system layout, file structures, data and authorship information, documentation of any manipulation and any other relevant computer system information manipulation. Next, complication faced by the experts. The aptitude to retrieve electronic data is progressively most important in both criminal and civil investigations. Electronic data recovery should not be held in reserve for cases in point where the instrumentality of computer technology has been validated. In fact, digital evidence has been utilized in cases ranging from homicide to software piracy. On the other hand, the importance of computer forensic capabilities has not comprehensively recognized and is in fact in argument in various sections of intellectuals across the country. Customarily, this disinclination was recognized to cyberphobia which means the fear of new technology. Such fear of modernization is consistent with but not exclusive to the police culture or its administration. Actually, officers commonly experience inactive unconcern and are uncertain to engage innovative technologies. Furthermore, law enforcement administrators are struggling with the evolving socio-legal culture of political accuracy and multiculturalism, expressing discontent with the shifting nature of police work and remark computer forensics as needless constraints on budgets 
already pushed to the limits. Developing Forensic Workstation The initial step in the development of forensic skills is the construction of a dedicated computer laboratory as with the areas in which forensic analysis is conducted the allocation of reserve space that is forensically approachable is particularly imperative. Investigators should try to ascertain an environment that is comfortable to investigators, equipment and evidence equally. Investigators must focus their reasons on the requirement of protecting the exclusive nature of resources to be accommodated there and lay emphasis on the susceptibility of electronic equipment. Investigator for instance efficaciously established the required space by arguing that the nature of work that is pornography, child exploitation, etc. required privacy to preclude the possibility of controversial activity by colleagues offended by such exposure. By converging on the end result, like the probable expenditures associated with substituting impaired apparatuses and defending cases, point of view may be substantiate more persuasive results. Investigators should categorize the minimum spatial requirements for evidence storage as well as analysis, bearing notice that the nature of criminal justice system. Such space should be confidentially contained and environmentally suitable. Evidences storage areas should be safeguarded. As in traditional laboratories, appropriate work areas should be established with sturdy stalls and ergonomically designed adjustable seats. Now we will discuss about the requirements of cyber forensic workstation. Computer forensic workstation requirements are divided into two major categories. The first is hardware and the second is software. Now we will discuss about the hardware requirements. Although the procurement of computer hardware has become more reasonable in recent years, Investigators should keep in mind that technology is shifting at an alarming speed. Consequently, any procurement could become old-fashioned in a reasonably stretch of time. As such, the acquisition of said equipment should be characterized by both parsimony and prescience, while reserving some funds for the future. Simultaneously, lab designers should acquire as much forensic equipment as possible because most local agencies will have to focus on the commonly available and most consumable softwares. Hardware forensic tools range from simple single purpose components to comprehensive computer system and servers. Some examples of complete systems are digital intelligence, FRED systems, DIBS advanced forensic workstation and forensic computer forensic examination stations and portable units. Now we will discuss about the software requirements. As mentioned earlier that the identification and examination of digital evidence pose exclusive challenges to traditional investigators. Detection of such information is exceptionally vital for efficacious case disposition. Although hardware provides the necessary framework for data acquisition and analysis. It is unproductive without conforming forensic softwares. Generally speaking, there are five broad categories of software tools required to prepare a fundamental laboratory. First is data preservation, duplication and verification tools. Second is data recovery or extraction tools. Third is data analysis tools. The fourth one is data reporting tools and the fifth is network utilities. Software forensic tools are grouped into command line application and graphical user interface applications. Some tools are specific to execute single tasks such as Saveback, a command line disk acquisition tool from New Technologies Incorporation. Other tools are designed to perform many different tasks. For example, Technology Pathways, ProDiscover, Xways Forensics, Guidance Software NCase and Access Data FTK are graphical user interface tools designed to perform most computer forensic acquisition and analysis functions. Software forensic tools are commonly used to copy data from the suspect drives to an image file. Many graphical user interface acquisition tools can read 
all structures in an image file as though the image were the original drive. Many analysis tools such as ProDiscover, NCase, FTK, X-Phase Forensics, iLook and others have the competency to evaluate image files. Now we will see how to systematize a forensic workstation. Constructing a forensic workstation is not as challenging as it appears but then again can quickly become expensive if the investigator is not attentive. The shortcomings in terms of money and time can be overcome if the designer has an approach to construct and customize the forensic workstation as per his requirement. However, this may pose certain problems such as peripheral devices might conflict with each other or even the components might be unsuccessful. Designing own forensic workstation requires around the clock dedicated support for the hard drive systems. It is also necessary to ascertain what is intended to be analyzed. Several computer merchants offer a wide range of forensic workstation that can be personalized to meet the investigation requirements. The more assorted is the investigation situation, the more alternatives are required. At large, forensic workstation can be divided into following categories. The first one is stationary workstation, the second is portable workstation and the third is lightweight workstation. While considering possibilities to enhance a basic workstation, it should be kept in mind that personal computers have limitations about the number of peripherals they can stand. The more peripherals are added, the more impending problems might be encountered, especially if an older version of a respective operating system is being used. It is imperative to learn to maintain the balance between the requirement and the capacity of the computer system. In a forensic investigation, it is better to have as many options to handle any possible kind of investigation. If possible, a number of configurations of system can be used to tackle diverse investigation or even a single investigation with multiple operations. Hardware inventory is required to be maintained besides the software library to counter any circumstantial physical failure of the instrument. In the commercial settings, it is better to consider reforming the workstation constantly to come across the requirements of only the tapes of system used in the work. Now we will discuss about the synchronizing requirements and resources. Before a forensic workstation is built or purchased, it is important to ascertain where the data acquisition would take place. If the acquisition is required in a field, it is necessary to streamline the equipments accordingly. While choosing a computer as a stationary or lightweight forensic workstation, a full tower to allow for expansion devices is required, such as a 2.5 inch drive converter to analyze a laptop hard drive or a 3 point inches IDE write protected drive controller. As much memory and processor power is required as the budget allows and also according to the various sizes of hard drives. In addition, a better power supply with battery backup, extra power and data cables, a SCSI controller card, external firewire and USB ports, a collection of drive adapter bridges to connect SATA to IDE drives, an ergonomic keyboard and mouse and a good video card with at least a 17 inch monitor is required. If a number of investigations are intended to be performed simultaneously, then separate high-end video cards and monitors are recommended. With certain minor adjustment and addition of hardware components, these systems perform extremely well as with every technology, what a forensic workstation consists of is often a matter of preference. Whatsoever merchant is chosen, it is recommended to select the devices which execute the functions expected and required as an investigator. Now let us summarize this chapter. Computer forensic science protects digital evidences from possible alterations, damage, data corruption or infection by design or carelessness. The initial step in the development of computer forensic skills is the construction of dedicated computer laboratory. 
Computer forensic workstation requirement are divided into two major categories. First is hardware and the second is software. Hardware forensic tools ranges from simple single purpose components to comprehensive and versatile computer systems and servers. Although hardware provides the necessary framework of data acquisition and analysis, it is unproductive without confirming forensic softwares. Software forensic tools are grouped into command line application and graphical user interface applications. In a forensic investigation, it is better to have as many options to handle any possible kind of investigation.